In this video, we're going to build user interface for our search feature. And the way it's going to work is this. Um, we will have a table view with the search bar on top of it and a cancel button which will clear uh, search results. So the user, uh, user will be able to uh, search our MySQL database um, for a list of friends uh, by uh, typing a keyword. For example, I'll type uh, Steve and uh, tap on the search button on a mobile device keyboard. Our mobile application will then send HTTP request to uh, a PHP script and that PHP script will connect to MySQL database, perform select query and uh, return back to our mobile application a JSON uh, response uh, with a list of uh, friends. And um, then our table view will display this uh, result. The table view will display whatever uh, server side will uh, return um, a list of friends. And uh, notice that uh, search bar, in the search bar, I typed uh, Steve, uh, a lowercase, and uh, our PHP script was still able to find uh, Steve Jobs and then return um, search result or mobile application. So the search result is going to be case insensitive. I can also type only a um, few words, like I can type Steve and not complete uh, the first name um, completely. So I, and if I search, it will still find um, the name Steve Jobs. I can type, for example, job, and it will still find Steve Jobs. If I type Bill, it finds another name. If I type something that does not exist, uh, it will not return anything. So the case, the search result is going to be case insensitive. And um, <laughs> the user interface we're going to build is uh, going to be very simple. Okay, so uh, let's go. Uh, this is the very first video and I'm going to create a new project and um, build a user interface. So I will uh, stop this application and then go um, to my uh, Xcode, iOS application, single view application, next. And I will call it UI search bar example uh, case in sensitive search. Something like this. Language is Swift and devices iPhone. Next, create. And uh, project is created. I'll go to main storyboard and we'll um, select the default view controller that I have, the only view controller on my storyboard, and I'll use it uh, for my table view. So I will first resize it to iPhone 4 inch and uh, go to my objects library and look for table view. Okay, so here's the table view. I'll drag it to my um, view controller. And first thing that I want to do with this table view, I want to add a prototype cells. I want one cell. Okay, one. now when the cell is here, I will go and look for the uh, search bar. Okay, so the, here's the search bar. I will drag the search bar and I will drop it right above the uh, cell. Actually, you can drop it below the prototype cell and then expand. Let's hide left side panel and expand document outline. And then here's the search bar. It's um, right below the uh, table view cell. So you can uh, click on the search bar and drag it just above the table cell. It will be easier to position it. It might be easier to position it that way. Okay, the table view is in place, search bar is in place. And next, uh, we will uh, embed this view controller into navigation controller. So I will uh, select the view controller here and then go to editor, embed in navigation controller. And I'll also resize this navigation controller to four inch. Okay, just bring this to closer. Now I have navigation item, so I'll select it and I'll put a title, search. Okay, so um, next uh, we will uh, take the, uh, we will look for the button. And um, 
it's not just the button we want here. We want a bar button item. So I'll take the item and we'll drag and drop it here. Uh, next, this is going to be our console button. So I'll select this um, bar button item and uh, from the identifier list, I will uh, scroll down and select console. So that's going to be our console button. Okay, our user interface is almost complete. Um, next, we want to um, uh, create a few outlets for our table view. Well, the first one is going to be if I select table view and hold control button on my keyboard, click, drag, and uh, drop it uh, to this very first uh, yellow button. Um, Xcode will um, offer us two outlets that we can uh, connect. And the first one is data source. We can actually uh, connect to a data source is for our table view to be able to load uh, data. And the uh, delegate is for our table view to be able to react uh, to some events, for example, when user taps on the table view cell. Okay. Uh, next, we will select the table view uh, cell. So while, if, when the cell is selected, uh, you can also select this table view cell from the document outline on the left side. Select the cell and then from attributes inspector, uh, look for identifier and let's provide this cell identifier my cell. You can, you can type any identifier uh, so that it makes sense for you to uh, access then uh, access it from the source code. But we need to remember identifier we set here because uh, later in our source code, we're going to dequeue this cell by using identifier we type in. So this is very important. Uh, select the cell and set identifier and remember the name. Uh, okay, so delegates are selected and um, the next um, outlet that we want to create is for the search bar. So we want to select the search bar click on it, drag and drop it here and also set up a delegate. Um, all right. So uh, next, what we want to do, we want to uh, hide the left side, I mean, hide the document outline and then uh, let's open um, view controller, select the view controller here and open it in assistant editor, hide the uh, right side panel and uh, we will uh, make our view controller to conform uh, to a few um, protocols. And the first one is going to be a UI table view data source. So I'll type UI table view data source. And uh, if I hold um, control button, command button on my keyboard and then click on the UI table view data source, it will load up a protocol um, and the functions that this protocol defines. There are optional functions and there are required functions. The first two are required. So I'll take these two functions, copy them and um, go back to my view controller and paste them somewhere here at the bottom. I will delete uh, comments and add uh, body implementation. Okay, so the first uh, function needs to return a uh, number of rows in section and that's going to be how many, how many um, table cells, uh, how many cells there will be in our table view. Uh, and uh, it will be determined by the search result. So I'll quickly um, declare a variable here, variable search results. And this is going to be an array of strings. So the function here, number of rows in section, needs to return uh, a count of our search results. We will, um, uh, we will implement this um, protocol um, functions first, but the uh, rest of the uh, implementation we will type uh, later on. And the, uh, the next uh, function uh, needs to return UI table view cell. So we will also quickly uh, declare a new variable, say var my, my cell, and that's going to be table view dq, dq reusable cell with identifier. And identifier, if you remember, we created is called my cell and the uh, 
index path is going to be taken from here from me. Okay, and that's uh, that's going to be um, UI table of view cell. And then we will simply return this, my cell. Again, we will write a proper implementation later in the video. We'll just make this um, user interface uh, working. Uh, okay, and um, next what we need to do, we need to, uh, we will need um, to work with uh, the uh, search bar. So I'll select the search bar and I will um, create an outlet here. And that's going to be my search bar. And I will create one outlet for table view. I'll call it my table view. And I will also need uh, this um, view controller to conform to a search bar delegate. So I'll put comma here and I'll type UI search bar delegate. So search bar is also a uh, a protocol if I hold um, command button on my keyboard and click on UI search bar delegate and I will scroll down to see what um, functions this protocol defines and the uh, function all of them are optional and the function that I'm looking for is a search bar search button click here search bar search button click so I'll copy this function it is called when keyboard search button is pressed I'll go back to my um, view controller and paste it somewhere here. Okay, when uh, our search button is stopped, this function will be called and uh, to test it quickly, I will print something uh, like uh, search button stopped um, to make sure it works. Let me save it and run it. Okay, my mobile app is uh, up and running and I can um, tap on search bar and tap something like Steve and uh, search and search button uh, tap uh, message is printed out in our console. Okay, so uh, very good. Our user interface is created and uh, we, are, we are ready to continue.